Jeff, so tell us, where are we in the real estate cycle currently? It just evolves. So, so when people say, is it a bubble? It's always a bubble because the bubble breaks eventually, but you never know when that's going to happen. If I had to guess, you know, we've really had a good run, so you would, you would think that, you know, it's, it's probably peaked. And uh, given where we are, how is Newmark's uh, portfolio doing exactly? Our portfolio is fine. We actually do better in a bad market than in a good market. Um, simply because in a good market we don't really charge as much as our competitors. So we do better in a bad market because in a bad market we, we're able to react quicker um, because we own most of these buildings for a long time. So when a bad market comes, a lot of people are looking to either hold or um, acquire. Are you looking to do that? Well, we never sell. So, we, you know, that's the one thing we, 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 I mean, obviously I've been involved in partnerships where we had to sell, but, but our philosophy is not to sell. So that's worked out well, who knew? Can you envision a uh, scenario in which you would want to sell? It makes no sense to sell because the way the tax laws are written, uh, it makes much more sense to just refinance the building because buildings like ours where we have a negative tax basis, we would get killed if we sold them. What's the purpose? You know what I mean? You're, you're basically selling a building at a high price and buying another one at a high price. When you're looking at it in the long term like a family business like ours, and I'm sure Durst or Rudin would tell you the same thing, you're looking for the quality of the tenant more than you are for the rent. I remember when the um, Back in the go-go days of the dot-com craze, uh, the building on Astor Place, I had offers of, I don't remember what, you know, $60, $70 a foot, which then was high. And I think I made a deal with NYU for $35 or $40. And everybody said, what are you crazy? I said, NYU will be there. They'll pay the rent. I'm not worried about it. And within a year, all those dot-coms had gone out of business. Would you say that the well, Astor Place building, like, you know, buying it for $8 million, you know, refinancing it for like hundreds. Was that your like the greatest deal or most profitable deal? One of them. Barry and I were really active in a period where where, th where these buildings were really uh, undesirable. Let's put it that way. And the only criteria that you used back then was okay, the building throw off a 10% return in two years. And if the answer was yes, you'd buy it. Never did I think that interest rates could be 3%. It's staggering how safe. Uh, even though there may be people, you know, who don't like the Blasio or whatever, who say, oh, the city's not as safe as it used to be. It's, it's even safer. It's incredible how much safer New York is than any other big city. It's not even close. Tell us, what got you into the real estate game initially? Oh, simple. My father. I had no interest in real estate at all. Uh, hmm. My interest was purely in construction. And uh, I got a job actually in California working for the high California Division of Highways because everybody I tried to get a job with here said I needed experience. So I got two years experience, came back, got a job with uh, diesel construction. What happened was diesel was sold after I had been there about seven or eight years, was sold to a food service company, ARA Services. And I really didn't want to work for a public company. I bought a couple of warehouses and converted them into condos, co-ops, not condos. Condos didn't really exist back then a couple of brownstones, and that's really how I got my start in real estate. Jeff, it's my understanding that you own three racetracks. How did you get into horse racing? I was partners with, uh, with, with Sam Zell and Arthur Cohn, and, and, we, and we had a net lease, and, and somebody bought the fee and was going to sue us and give us a hard time, and my partner said, it's too aggravating, let's just sell it. And I was so upset, and I told my wife, I said, I'm going to take this money, I'm going to piss it away. We built a brand new building, it's 120 million, it's gorgeous, and uh, we've been growing our revenues from catering. We have a bar mitzvah this Saturday night, and uh, we get a lot of, a lot of non-profits have events there. People love it. Jeff, thank you so much for uh, talking to us today. Well, I'm glad that uh, you had a chance to reminisce about uh, what real estate was like when I started. It's, a, it's, it's come a long way and it's very different today. Mm -hmm.